Hi, this is Dr. Justin here, and today's talk is on my two most favorite minerals. Alright, so the first mineral we're going to be talking to about today is magnesium. Magnesium is an excellent mineral. It has a couple different uses. Uh, one of the first uses that's really awesome is it helps with lowering blood pressure. So one of the most common medications out there are beta blockers. And what beta blockers do, they essentially block calcium from affecting the various parts of the heart. So calcium usually increases blood pressure and, and increases excitation. So normally, these medications actually block that calcium influx. But magnesium and calcium actually have a natural balance. So by increasing magnesium, we can actually decrease that calcium influx naturally, which is excellent. That's why we see excellent results with decreasing kind of stroke volume and blood pressure and decreasing that stress on the heart when we use good quality magnesium supplementation. Uh, magnesium is actually involved in over 200 enzymatic processes in the body, so it has a lot of uses. And it's actually very deficient in our soil supply and even in organic foods today. Interesting study that ran across my desk this week uh, essentially, it was involved three different groups of people. So the first group was a sedentary individual, and the second and third group were athletes. So what they did was they gave one group 10 milligrams per kilogram of magnesium, and they gave one of the athlete groups 10 milligrams per kilogram of magnesium. So for your average 200-pound individual, you're looking about one gram, 800 milligrams to about one gram of magnesium per day. At the end of the study, what they found was the groups that were, one, the sedentary group that was given the magnesium, and the group that was athletic, they actually increased relatively their testosterone, which is a hormone that helps with anti-aging, the most. So even without exercise, the study really showed that simple supplementation of magnesium was really awesome, very beneficial. And we know there's an inverse uh, relationship between mortality and testosterone. So essentially, the higher testosterone is in a natural speaking way, you're going to have decreased the chance of dying early, which is awesome. Another thing about magnesium that we really like, it's nice laxative, natural laxative. So if you are, you know, a little constipated, you know, the root would be to address the, the gut bacteria, but a nice natural substitute would be to use maybe a high quality magnesium oxide or magnesium citrate. Now, my favorite kinds of magnesium tend to be in the chelated form, so like magnesium glycinate and magnesium malate or magnesium dimalate. So what chelated means is they're bond to an amino acid. And this is really good because, one, if we take magnesium, it can have some GI issues. That's why it's nice for constipation. But at the same time, if we bind it to an amino acid, it gets absorbed better and we have less GI issues and we can actually increase our body's magnesium levels faster and better with no issues. So I'm a big fan of, eh, I'd say between 500 milligrams to one gram per day of magnesium. It's really nice, it really helps promote sleep and helps promote relaxation. My next favorite mineral is zinc. Zinc is excellent because it has a handful of different um, benefits. The first one is immune system benefit. Taking zinc, maybe in a zinc lozenger form, or even taking it in a capsule form can be very beneficial to help support the immune system. 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams today can, per day can be very beneficial on immune health. Also, zinc is very important for also building testosterone. It's an um, anabolic mineral, meaning it helps to support our anabolic hormones, which is really good. And it's also beneficial because it helps to produce, it's one of the raw material components for hydrochloric acid. It helps with gut health, and it helps our body to be able to secrete hydrochloric acid, which is beneficial for breaking down protein. We need to be able to break down protein efficiently because if we can't break it down, we can't rebuild our muscle, and we can't rebuild our hormones and neurotransmitters effectively. And also, it's very good because if we can break down and secrete hydrochloric acid efficiently, we're going to be able to break down minerals. And minerals are really important because we already talked about magnesium, and it's also important to be able to break down minerals to help make our bones and our skeletal structure, which is very important. I hope everyone found this talk very beneficial. Um, zinc and magnesium, that's the way to go. Any questions, feel free and give our office a call or feel free and email me at justinhealth.com. Thanks. Have a great day.